movies with a touch of reality and um, the ones that are reenacted and also the ones that are based on societal ills are very very much close to my heart <laughs> and welcome to my diary my name is Janelle and this is my Nollywood diary where we get to talk about Nollywood movies and what's not if you haven't subscribed yet please do that so stay abreast on Nollywood movies and what's not you can follow us on Facebook Instagram and YouTube or my website at Janelle's Nollywood diary .com. ever since I met Roger Sofime from the movie voiceless I became curious on the kinds of movies he produces or directs and um, I noticed that most of his movies are based on the Wahala in Nigeria movies that are deep that would make you think about your country that will make you like that would ginger the patriotic spirit and this particular one under review today is not different the movie under review today is Oloibiri yeah. if you're familiar with history you would know that Oloibiri was the first place in Nigeria where oil was discovered in 1956 and it's also the first commercial oil field in Nigeria and West Africa and um, it's a place for sore eyes I know that the movie came out a couple of years ago but it, it recently came out on Netflix so I was overjoyed when I saw that it was coming to Netflix at least it's something I could you know educate myself on something historic about my country Nigeria so because of that I just had to subscribe to Netflix to watch this particular movie was it worth it? on the exploitation and its after effects in the little town of Oloibiri in Bayelsa state, Nigeria. The town had no good drinking water, no fish, the people were sick and dying due to the activities of different oil companies who were exploiting and taking their oil for like over 40 years. Boma Tamono aka Gunpowder aka God of Oloibiri <laughs> took it upon himself to keep Oloibiri safe mm -hmm, by his own special means and by whatever means necessary. He went through extraordinary lengths to get the oil company out of their community even when the task seemed impossible. He more than twisted an arm and something that could have taken about four months took a few days but of course there were repercussions and not all of them lived some little 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 details the last standing soldier during the face-off between gunpowder and the security detail of the white man who was kind of like the CEO of the oil company well he that character was played by Daniel K he made us believe that he was shot in the leg but later on I realized that no it wasn't the leg it was the stomach and I was wondering how did we miss that this particular one really really hurts me I've, I've read about the devastation of what the um, oil spillage has done in Oloibiri and um, I felt the movie did not exactly capture um, the disaster the devastation of in Oloibiri it was I hear that the water can be drunk there, there's no fish there are a whole lot of things people dying yes it was captured in the movie but it did not strike an emotional chord in me it wasn't deep enough for me so that was that's like a no-no for me i think they should have done more to you know appeal to our emotions consent the end the end the end the end i i usually have issues with nigerian movies nollywood movies the end the end the end seemed a bit hasty like they were in a hurry to make it end and um, the rescue mission was was quite hasty. The way everything just ended was like, oh gosh, such a beautiful movie. Why did it end it like that? Everything was just in a hurry. Let's let's just get this over and done with. That's how it seemed. Let's just you know close it and make everyone go home smiling. And it wasn't it for me. Oh my God. High time someone tells this type of story to us too. To expand our mind to make us understand what really happened in Oloibiri and not just Oloibiri but in our country today because stuff like this things like this are things that we see every day where greed is like the order of the day that your brother your sister would want to kill you or put your life in danger just because of that little gain that they think they will get Yes, we see it play out. I don't want to even go into suits in Port Harcourt. Yes, I live in Port Harcourt. Now, this is me digressing. 
we allow these things to happen in our community because of the little gain. So this movie is like a wake up call to all of us. The wells in Oloibiri has dried up, dried up and well, they have packed and gone. And what are the people passing through today? Meanwhile, Oloibiri had potentials, but nothing came out of it, nothing allowed greed to destroy us another thing i love about this movie just making me sad somehow but <laughs> i deeply love the exchange between um tamuno as played by rmd and um, elder timmy pre was played by um by olu jacobs plastic it was beautiful it was engaging and it was truthful i loved their exchange whoa it was mm. after seeing this movie i would love to hear your thoughts because at the end of the day, I asked myself, indeed, who is to blame for this devastation of Oloibiri? Is it the government? Is it her people? Or is it the companies that came looking for oil? Anyways, Oloibiri is a beautiful and educative movie that will teach you about history. Yeah, history in Nigeria, it's a bit... You would love Oloibiri and I recommend you see it. You ought to see Oloibiri. So I give Oloibiri a 3.5 star rating. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, recommend Janelle's Nollywood Diary. I'd love to hear from you. Have you been to Bayelsa? Have you been to Oloibiri? What's the town looking like? How was the movie to you? If you've seen it, if you haven't seen it, see it and come back. I would really love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Janelle. Have a beautiful day or night anytime. Bye-bye.